Hey there gamers, in today's video, we're gonna be playing an anime gacha game titled Saint Seiya Legend of Justice. Saint Seiya Legend of Justice is a simple gacha game inspired by the well-known Saint Seiya manga and anime which was so popular back in the 80s and 90s. Now there have been many versions of Saint Seiya, but this particular adaptation might just be the most visually impressive. One of the reasons is that Kurumada Mazume, the original writer of the Saint Seiya manga series, is involved in the development of Legend of Justice. With talented voice actors and stunning character designs that stay true to the original, this adaptation is looking incredibly good compared to the others. For the sake of full disclosure though, this video is sponsored by Wanda Games which is the publisher of Saint Seiya Legend of Justice, but all opinions I will be sharing in this video is based on my own. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So I've actually been playing this game for around a couple of days now. As you can see here, I'm already on chapter 9 but I'm kinda stuck at this stage. So I'm gonna need to level up my knights in order to proceed. So what I'm gonna do instead is to show you how the game works, talk about its features and the ongoing event which you can get a lot of rewards from. Alright, let's start with the anniversary event that they have going on. The game has been around for a year now which is why they're celebrating their first anniversary. The game's anniversary event is exceptionally generous, you'll be able to do 10 times draw for 100 times, but you can only retain 5 sets. Now, which sets to keep is up to you and to your luck. The rules are pretty simple though, you just have to complete all tasks and earn draw attempts. The first 3 10 draws are temporarily saved, after which you can save or discard the next 10 draws. Now, this event is actually great as you can do 10 times summon 100 times and just retain the ones you see fit for your team setup. And a new character, God Cloth Seiya, has also arrived. You just have to log in for 7 days to get him for free. You can also get him by drawing these feathers, which you can get from packs to draw from here. Just check out this character skill, 800% damage. Anyone hit by this, absolutely gets toasted. It's a must get character that's gonna rock it to the top of the rankings when player update their tier list. Now about the game's story, the plot of this adaptation closely follows the original Saint Seiya story, where you will join Seiya, Iki, Shiryu, Hyoga and Chun on a journey to the sanctuary. Their mission is to defeat the 12 god knights and thwart the master's conspiracy in order to rescue the goddess Athena. Even if you're not familiar with Saint Seiya, you'll be able to understand and enjoy this retelling of the original story without getting lost in an unfamiliar terminology. Now moving on to the actual gameplay, Legend of Justice follows the popular trend of idol based gameplay, similar to many popular games today. In the game, you will have the opportunity to select and assemble a team from a vast roster of around 88 knights, while utilizing the 6 elements to enhance your combat effectiveness. This combination offers a blend of strategic turn-based combat and a familiar leveling mechanics commonly seen in idle RPGs, providing an engaging and strategic gameplay experience. You can expand your team's option by collecting different knights. These knights are categorized into 6 elements, water, fire, air, earth, light, and darkness. Furthermore, there are 4 types of knights, protectors, warriors, assassins, and skilled knights. Through attribute restraints and control skills, the game emphasizes the importance of forming a strong team rather than relying on a single powerful knight. These knights can be collected through summoning, in other words, through the gacha system. As for combat, just like in other idol RPGs, combat in Saint Seiya is fairly simple. Players have to just add their knights to their party and the knights will automatically assume suitable positions. Archers and ranged fighters along with ranged healers will go into the back line, while tank fighters will go into the front line. Once the party is ready, you just have to press this button right here and they will automatically start the combat. Now I mentioned that combat is fairly simple but that actually only applies in early stages because as you progress and advance through the gameplay, the game becomes slightly more complex. Now this complexity arises from the importance of elemental combinations and selecting the appropriate knight for your party. All knights in Saint Seiya possess different elements in the battle, earth, wind, fire, water, light, and darkness. Now each element has a natural counter against another element. Water counters fire, fire counters wind, wind counters earth, and then earth counters water. Light and dark elements are specially unique. They deal extra damage to each other but remain neutral when it comes to interacting with other elements. Talking about mastering equipment, in battles, the knights can equip various accessories obtained from defeating enemies. After major fights, enemies will drop different accessories. To equip them, you just need to select a knight, go to accessories, and choose auto equip for the 
best available items. Now, you will also have to remember that different knights have different equipments, but some items are common. It's recommended to equip the strongest knight first. In Saint Seiya, knights can be leveled up by collecting through materials. Initially, a knight can only reach level 10, but to go beyond that, a breakthrough is needed. A breakthrough requires gold coins, knight experience, and magic stones, allowing further upgrades beyond level 10. Talking about the quest, Saint Seiya offers numerous quests for player progression. These quests are particularly beneficial for new players, providing valuable rewards such as gold coins, diamonds, knight experience, and 3-star fragments. Now, in general, Saint Seiya is not that different from other idol RPGs, but the story and manga universe behind it are what makes it interesting. For idol RPGs fans out there, I say the game is definitely worth trying. Overall, there's a lot of stuff new players can do, and they can just take their time with it and enjoy the game at their own pace. On top of that, now is absolutely the time to hop in, as the game's currently having an event that's definitely worth taking advantage of. So go ahead and give it a try. You can scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now, or install the game through the link down in the description. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're into this kind of gaming stuff, or if you found this video helpful. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. This is your gaming buddy Jeffrey, and this has been Gaming at Max. See you in the next video. Happy gaming!